one, handa na ba kayong magbilang at balikan ang nakaraan? Ano pang iniintay nyo? Tara na, halina, matuto. Bring back the basic, the new normal numeracy program. Today, we will talk about addition of whole numbers. By the way, I am Mr. Connor Daryl S. Ramos, or you can call me Sir Daryl. Kunin na ang inyong panulat at papel at sabay-sabay tayo matuto kung paano mag-add ng whole numbers. In today's lesson, you will learn how to add whole numbers and apply it in real-life situation. Are you guys ready? Simulan na natin at halina matuto! Numeracy and literacy are essential skills in the modern society. Of the four fundamental operations on numbers, addition is the most natural and historically was the first operation developed. The ability to add numbers in your head is used in everyday life. When you play, watch TV, or when working with money. For example, adding bills and receipts. Adding whole numbers means that we are combining numbers to form a total. Each number being added is called addends. The total, which is the answer to the addition problem, is called sum. In adding numbers with different number of digits, put the larger number on top. Remember to align the digits of the numbers into column according to place value. For example, find the sum of 265, 15, 8, and 1,387. First, arrange the numbers in column with the largest number on top and align the numbers by place value. Next, start adding the numbers in one's place, regroup if needed. So, we have 7 plus 5 plus 5 plus 8, and that is equals to 25. Copy 5 under the one's digits. Column and carry 2 over the next column. Next, add the digit in the tens place, including 2. 2 plus 8 plus 6 plus 1 is equal to 17. Again, let's write 7 under the tens digit column and carry 1 over the next column. We will now add the digits in the hundreds place including 1. 1 plus 3 plus 2 is equal to 6. Lastly, Add the digits in the thousands column, but since we only have one in this column, just bring down or copy it in our answer. Therefore, the sum of 1,387 plus 265 plus 15 plus 8 is equal to 1,675. It is very important to practice solving math problems. Sabi nga nila, Practice makes perfect. Let us apply addition of whole numbers in real-life situation. COVID-19 vaccines can possibly help us avoid and prevent the spread of the virus. In order to get vaccinated, people will register in a certain link. Barangay 143 recorded the following for the first three days of the registration. 856, 1024, and 970 respectively. How many people registered in the first three days? Here, we have to write first the given in column. The largest number must be on the top, and we need to align the digits properly by place value. We will add first the digits in the ones place. 4 plus 0 plus 6 
is equal to 10. Write 0 under the 1's place and carry 1 over the next column. 1 plus 2 plus 7 plus 5 is 15. Write 5 and carry 1 over the next column. 1 plus 0 plus 9 plus 8 is 18. Write 8 and carry 1 over the last column. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So the sum we have when we add 1024 plus 970 plus 856 is 2850. And that's it. Did you learn something? Let us now summarize everything we discussed in today's lesson. We were able to add whole number and apply it in real life situations. Since everything is clear, you may now start answering learning task of the week. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe in our YouTube channel so you will be updated in our latest uploads. At ayun na nga, natapos na naman ang ating talakayan. Hanggang sa susunod na linggo, dito lamang sa programang punong-puno ng kaalaman. Mundo ng numbers, ating niyang pag-uusapan. Halina, matuto, bring back the basic. The new normal, numeracy program. Bye-bye!